Hey guys, I'm the Fact Freak and welcome to today's deep dive on Princess Flu. One, two, flu's coming for you. Three, four, flu's at your door. Five, six, better run quick. Seven, eight, it's got to be fucking great. Now, of course, a lot of people who aren't new to this channel will know that I exposed Princess Flu way over a year ago and have done several videos on this guy as he's quite disturbing. We exposed him for ripping off money from a charitable cause, a young disabled girl, um, as well as stalking and vile behaviour. But recently he's gained a lot more attention on TikTok by basically just amping it up and being, well, crazy. But I must remind everybody the Princess Flu, Adam Page from Winchester, is under adult social care and there clearly is something going on in that potato of her head. So when Princess Flu is saying, for example, that the fact freak is an offender or somebody else is an offender or I've done this, that and the other, you've got to remember that this is coming from somebody who, in my personal opinion, should not be on social media. Saying that, let's have a look at some of the stuff they've been doing. Now the first clip, this is what happens when a member of the working public runs across a wild Princess Flu and has to have a conversation. Now in this video, Princess Flu claims to have cancer and all sorts of different things. Um, Princess Flu himself filmed this, uploaded it to the internet and believed this was a win. Um, but yeah, let's listen. Oh, and he took the key. So I'm trying to listen to you. I am. I'm, I'm, I have nothing against you. I, I really want to resolve the situation. I don't. I don't want to be difficult. I really don't. And I, I don't want you to get that impression from me. Really? Difficult. Disabled yeah, person. Disabled person with cancer. Turning up. So, I don't mean you should treat all customers the same, no matter what their problem. I want to be treated as a person, not because I've got cancer, yeah, but we... not the pity party because I've got cancer. Oh, I know. You literally block the car in. No, I'm sat there, I'm absolutely freezing. There is literally nothing the Princess Flu won't lie about. He literally has no control over his mouth. And now the boring bit. As you know, guys, sharing, liking and commenting really does help push out videos and help with awareness. So, yeah, please help me of course it doesn't stop there so here's a clip the princess flu uploaded obviously once again thinking it was a win um where he decided to terrorize an ambulance crew now he says the paramedics walked in front of flu's car while flu was parking and they damaging nhs staff property these people not work with public at all that sentence alone just shows that Adam really doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. You alright there, pal? Yeah, where's the guy gone? Why? Because I would like to film him. Can you please explain why you're treating the customers outside like that? Threatening. Customers. I've never heard. I've never heard anybody. Re never mind. Fucking no. customers. I didn't threaten you. Yes, you did. You said if I was going to say something once more, you was going to hit me. No, he didn't. Did yes, he did. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Okay. That, and breath? that's when he slammed the things down. Yeah, I got a dash pan. Well, it's not what does, I said. Does it yes, you us? did. I even apologised when I thought I'd, I'd done wrong. I even apologised, and no, you still had the attitude you like that. Funny as I, was I away. apologise, and then you gave the attitude. Wow. So Princess Flew body shamed the ambulance driver. And then I said fuck after, after insulting him, yeah? There you go. I apologise. No, I apologise. No, you didn't. Pat. Yes, I did. I, I said sorry, you. I didn't see it's fine, you. fine, I'm getting the police down. That's fine. Then he... Imagine, they're trying to do their job. Now an ambulance is held up because of Princess Flew. And then what, they're going to have to call more emergency services? Got agitated and then threw the things down. That's when I called him fatty no, because he so, actually after I apologised. So I'm going to tell you what's exactly what's happened. You've drived, you didn't see my colleague, and you've nearly hit him. 
Nearly. Nearly? Nearly, yes. But because you weren't looking at where you were going. Because yeah. I was too busy looking up here. This guy is making a very big mistake. He's trying to use logic while talking to a potato. He ain't going to get far with that because Flu doesn't understand. You see, I've noticed that when Flu goes off, he's very tunnel focused. He's not really thinking about anybody around him. And it's always a sense of injustice that he's going through. And he really did hope that uploading this on a TikTok would make, I don't know, him vindicated, get the the admiration that he desperately needs. Here to make sure it was okay to go down there because I had to manoeuvre where I reversed because that car was in the way. But you weren't looking at, this, at the pavement where people, pedestrians, walk, correct? But how could I see you when the car was in the way? And I was reversing to try and make myself get through. Are we short? So it's your fault, Adam. You basically just put yourself on blast for being a bad driver. Now we're a few minutes into the video and I can imagine exactly what Princess Flu will be doing right now. It goes something like this. Watch your back. I'm coming for you, you fucking psycho. And with it being confirmed that Princess Flu had big steel cojones, he obviously started to reach out to bigger creators and offer them this. There's this weirdo called Pratt. Brett? Twat? Something like that. I challenge you to Sunday Smokes. If you're brave enough, we shall see, won't we? Pratt, Twat, Pratt whatever your name is and Brett has a reason to be absolutely terrified it wasn't long ago that flew Sunday smoked with a blue star bus in Southampton and managed to cause a whopping £420 worth of damage so God knows what he's capable of doing with those fists hey. Like, why is it people don't want to believe it? Like, I've got no reason to lie. I'm not getting gifts. Someone's not pay. Someone's not telling me to pay me to say this. Yeah, it is strange behaviour. I admit, you are very strange. Like, you buy a web now. Yeah, I bought um, CLA Roots and Chelsea Lee Art. Like, because it was for sale. Like, she claims to the viewers that's her name, that's her trademark. It's so yeah. So we started talking about bigger creators like Chelsea Lee Art. And the same things like he was buying their websites. Now, Chelsea Lee Art was getting a lot of malicious phone calls and appearances from the police. And people believe that Princess Flu was behind it because he was exhibiting such stalking behaviour around the woman. So, I've just seen some video of this weirdo. Do you think he's the weirdo that's obsessed with me, that's phoning up the police and this and that, that guy with the glasses saying he's got a recording of me being racist and further evidence? Hi there, um, I just witnessed um, someone get arrested on TikTok Live in relation to an assault, a racial assault, and I have some further evidence to support that, and I was just wanting to know who I contact. Um, it's Chelsea, uh, London. Get out of here, you absolute potato head. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Princess Flu says, do you know what I mean? A lot. I'm here to tell you, Princess Flu, we don't know what the fuck you mean. Like, we really fucking don't. Now, I'm going to throw in a few highlights here, guys, of things that Princess Flu has said and done in the past that new viewers might not be aware of to get a full image of how dangerous this man is on social media. Seven offences are in relation to children. Why would you rehouse me near a school, given my past history? That doesn't make fucking sense. This is a government and fucking probation service for you. The rule on sex offenders is a bit harsh. I think once is okay, second is okay, third time. I think you need to go to prison because that's actually wrong. And of course, I put those clips in there to remind the seriousness of the way this guy thinks and how dangerous he potentially is. Now, he creates hundreds of profiles all over TikTok under Team Honeybuns, Princess Flu, Adam Page, Stacey Coleman, CLA Roots. On his persistent harassment and stalking of other individuals on the internet, 
Now, he even managed to involve Chelsea Harwood, Evil Queen, and Bradley, a partner. Now, I am going to live react to Bradley speaking to Princess Flu. I've not seen this full thing. You're wanted on Chelsea's live. I just want to ask you one question. How long have you been stalking women for? And like, how long have you... A long time. <laughs> From what I've known him, at least two, three years. You've been doing this. Also, have you got autism can I, can or Asperger's? Can I ask you one question? One have you got autism or Asperger's? Because that will define on how I speak to you. How long have you, got have autism? you been a rent boy? And... Now, Bradley has a spicy page. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. And now... Princess Flu is going to attack him for that, I think. Where is the evidence of your accusation? So if anyone wants to go and check out the fans only page, my Insta is Bradwater123. That's a different story. That pays me up to £50,000 a, 50, and, and that's pound a true. year. That's not but what, I'm, but what I'm asking you is how long have you been... We had time for a plug and a brag, but whatever. Talking women. When you decided to put this... Where is the evidence of this? When you Where's decided to start evidence? stalking CLA, when point. you, decide, when you decided to start stalk, alone, stalking CLA, what are you getting out of it? Man. What was? Pick what your is your mission? Up, put the old men down in their mobility scooter and come and chat to me like a real man, darling. Tell Did you just tell him to pick his pants up? Tell the truth. You use excuses for no reason at all, just for absolute clout and lies. What is... What? what was your mission when you decided to stalk Chelsea Liar? When you decided to stalk Chelsea Liar, what, what, what was going through your head when you started? I don't know why Bradley thought he could actually communicate with Flu. He's stalking Chelsea. What was going through your thick, disgusting head when you decided to fucking. Stop bullying the old men, darling, for their cash. Like, stop making out you're in a relationship because you're clearly not, darling. You're absolutely delusional. Like, please, make it real. Just, <laughs> just like Chelsea. Chelsea's meant to be pregnant. Oh, I'm just trying to comprehend, like, this guy. Can we all, like... Yeah. What is go you can't comprehend this kind of... You just can't. What's going on through your head? What is going on through your head? This guy just reeks of Asperger's. Like, what the fuck is going on through your... That's not fucking cool at all, Bradley. <clears throat> no. Head. What is Red going boy. on through your Absolute head? Boy. What Red is boy. going on Leave through your head? Why alone. are you stalking Stop people on TikTok? This is why the Americans say that UK TikTok is crazy. This right here. Stop. Why are you stalking people on TikTok? What is going on There's in your no head? Please explain to me what is going on in your head. I'm just confused. Bradley, Bradley, I'm just confused. Pull your pants up and listen. Pull your pants up and listen. Yeah? Pull your pants up and listen. It's pretty funny. I'm sorry. All you can say is about an old man that gave me 12 grand. That was, an old, that was a guy off OnlyFans. Post the evidence, darling. What are you on about? Evidence. What are you on about? Please tell me what you're on about. This is the epitome of a shit show. Please. Where is the evidence? Right. Of course you're going to deny, aren't How you? How long have you evidence? been stalking evidence. women? Evidence. How long have you been evidence. stalking women? Evidence. Where is the evidence? Evidence. Speak when evidence. When you decided to Post start stalking Chelsea Liat... Because you don't have any evidence, and that's just hearsay. Answer that's one, one question. Answer it's one like question, or I'm going to go. That you like older men, and they're actually gay... When Only fans pays me 50... Who like, will pay me up to 50 grand a year, like... You, you don't need to Prove know it. about Only fans. Prove you don't... It. Prove it. No one wants to see receipts of how much Bradley makes a year. I don't need to know about OnlyFans, right, yeah? Just because you're some little here. creep that has to evidence. stalk women and evidence. like... I don't Bradley. even... I'm just trying Bradley. to understand you. Bradley. I'm just trying to understand you, Adam. We understand people. We're here to get the facts. I'm just trying to... What this is ridiculous. Like I said, this is why Americans love UK TikTok. I understand you. I'm trying to gauge an understanding of what goes on in your head. Because at the minute, you're just like... You're just like a re... Person you're just giving, like, pure Asperger's voice. That's um, really not fucking happy with them saying shit like that. 
I do not support those kind of views on here. Like, you do not. Un- I don't think you understand what you're saying yourself, do you? Old men for money. Like Adam, please. Adam, Adam. Adam. Right. That's whatever your name is, Bradley. Stacey, Bradley, you Kyle. You, you, well, whatever your name, name is, right? Yeah. Comprehend the fact that I did OnlyFans. Get, get that through your head. Get that through your head. I did OnlyFans. Yeah, I did that. That's what. Prove it. Prove it. He doesn't even know what he's saying at this point. Where that money Prove came it. from? That is everywhere. I'm asking you Prove why it. you decided to start stalking Chelsea the Art. What There's was no going evidence. through your Prove head it. when you decided Prove to it. start stalking Prove CLA? It. You little freak! You, li- you see, <laughs> these bigger creators of discovering Princess Flu for the first time, as somebody who's dealt with them for years, right? I was freaked out by Flu at the start. I had him arrested at one point for stalking and harassment. He was saying horrendous things about me and my children and my family and all sorts of stuff. But you just realise eventually it's just a fucking joke. And who's he going to hurt? Who's he going to hurt, really? Do you know what I mean? So, (laughs) this is just ridiculous. I do do want the guy to get over. I do only fans. Prove it! Bradley go running like a chicken. Bradley goes cat. No, Bradley's smarter than you and like Mel. Oh, we got banned. He got banned. Oh, yeah, he got banned. Yay! Oh. Got banned. Celebrate good times. Come on. Now, of course, that was Evil Queen celebrating at the top there, Bradley's partner. But Evil Queen also went live with Princess Flu. I didn't know this. So, you know. Time for another reaction. I don't think she'll have had much luck either with them. They want to talk to you, but they know where I am. They can request me. They're, they're more uh, experienced on TikTok and how it works than what I am. They've requested me before and backed out. They can do it again. I mean, that'll be bullshit. The truth about what? The truth about them and their situations, how their relationship is fake. Of course, a lot of people think Bradley and Chelsea's relationship is fake. This is what he's alluding to. Our evil queen is paying um, Bradley for um, trying to love long time. <laughs> trying to love long time. And why Bradley loves old men like granddads, like pensioners for their old their money. Like he's a gold digger. Nothing but a gold digger. Ho, ho. Nothing but a gold digger. Ho, ho. Didn't expect that. Chelsea request. Oh, here we go. Hello. Hello. So, what you want? Um, I, I just want to know, but back, you know, remember back in the day, why did you um, support Holly Stanley? I never supported Holly Stanley ever. Right, we're going to get into this after this clip, but Holly Stanley is a convicted paedophile, somebody I exposed. Now, they were active on TikTok, and a lot of people didn't know who they were until they were exposed. Um, Princess Flu goes around saying that a lot of people supported Holly Stanley when in fact Princess Flu has a non molestation order against Holly Stanley because he said he was in a relationship with her that was sexual. Make it make sense, guys. And now I'm going to put an excerpt of me reading those very documents right here. Now, to get a non-molestation order, you normally have to be able to prove without reasonable doubt that you're in a relationship with the person that you're taking it out against and that you're in fear of them. So it is, in fact, Princess Flu who had a close relationship with a paedophile. You may decide that off the basis of a non-mol order that the respondent mustn't communicate with the person serving the order or they can be and or they will breach the order and be arrested and then it becomes criminal when that arrest is filed but this is family court this is you've got to have been part of a family unit relationship etc pardon me sorry so this obviously like the dates here the law act that's just when the act came into place for non-mols in 1996 
and of course the applicant so the person who has applied for the null mode order is princess flu adam page and it's been served to the respondent mr stephen loveday once again stephen loveday on a court document now this says this this is the first statement the way non mol works is if the loveday was going to appeal it loveday would make a counter statement with supporting evidence and then flu or page or whatever has it has an opportunity to file another responding statement and then they have to take those and the evidence to court and of course you might want to watch that video in full and other videos i've done of flu after this and if you look below this video there's a little bit where it says see more click that and you'll find all those links Yes, you did. Is there any yes, footage yes. to back up your claims? Pardon? Is there yeah, any footage yeah, to back your claims? They're out there. They're all... So that's a no. They're out there, darling. Oh, no, that's not good enough. We only accept facts and evidence around here, not speculation. Liar. Liar. Lies. No. Liar. Liar. So, so any, any, anything else? Liar. So how much are you paying Bradley, then? Absolutely nothing. Liar. OK, next question. Liar. You finally got me on your live and you, you're we messing need, around. We, this we is your need, opportunity. There's no, there's no point dueling if you're going to be a complete liar, darling. There's no, there's just lying. No Whatever point. question you ask me, I'll answer you. And I've answered the two questions so far that you've asked me. You so next question. You're deflecting, you're lying. Nobody's right. lying. You, you, you did a video, know. yeah. There's a... He's not getting what he wants, basically. Video out there of you and Holly Stanley Julin talking about me. Liar. And Holly Stanley talking to you in relation to me being fake transitioning, darling. Liar. Show the that's evidence. All, that's all out there. Let's you, see the evidence. You, I've never seen this clip. You can play ignorant all you like, darling, but the fact is it's all out there for people to see. If they want to go around blinkers on, just like you and uh, Bradley being in a relationship, fake relationship. Yeah. Like, there's so many of your supporters that seem to think that I'm on the register, darling, but then there's you two having intercourse on a social media platform where minors could be watching. Well, I thought we were in a fake relationship, so a fake relationship wouldn't have sex with each other. Well, that, that's the whole point. That's what no. I'm trying to say. So, so that doesn't, that doesn't make sense, does it? A fake it, it, if, it, if, it, if it was fake, then we wouldn't have intercourse ever. But there's videos of you on uh, Instagram doing it, so make exactly. your mind up. So therefore, what you're saying is loads of nonsense. So you're saying that because you can't, because you're in a fake relationship, you can't have intercourse, no? I mean, people not, have intercourse... Well, like, like I've answered you already, we're not in any fake relationship. This is just you people, saying this. So why are you paying so much money then? Nobody's paying anything. Of course not. So... <laughs> this is just your speculation here? Actually, it's, it's more than my speculation. It's loads of people. It's loads of people. It's loads of people's speculation, so it must be true. People's speculation, darling, and it's all facts. Okay. Like, you clear the so, so could I, could I come in, could I come in here now and start like saying, well, you go to the Asda at nine o'clock every morning? No, because I don't know that. It's not facts. I'm not in your life. So just like you can't claim facts on my life because you don't know me other than sitting on a screen and hustling the fuck out of this app. So you don't know me in private. You don't know nothing about me. You don't know nothing about my you're finances you don't know nothing right. about my boyfriend you know nothing about absolutely right. nothing all you're doing here is putting speculation out there and you're making up lies so you're, you're nothing but an absolute liar man for 10 to 15 thousand pound yeah well, i'm going to be in a relationship with you and oh, no, no 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 he wasn't he wasn't oh, with yes, me yes, yes, you're, yes, not, yes. you're not listening you're not listening again you ask me a question then you don't listen you're a complete liar I was it a lie? You haven't well, let you me make speak. Make out yet. that you're something bad and this happening. You haven't you're let me speak to answer the, this accusation. You're delusional, so. Chelsea. You're delusional. You don't want me to. <laughs> He's the last person to be telling anybody that they're delusional. Answer, because you know it'll rubbish all your claims. It's lies. It's all lies. I know, it's just... So, exactly, so, exactly, you finally admit it. Thank you for that. It's nobody's all listening. And I'm on with Gem Z, you know, and Marcus and Ems. They're on live We're here right now. I've got you on my second phone, so we're actually speaking together. So nobody's saying or admitting anything. So what I'm saying to you is, you want a response to the Bradley claim, don't you? Do you not want a response to the Bradley and the old man? Yeah. Do you not want to hear about Bradley and the old man? Do you want to hear about it all night? So I'm going to tell you if you want to hear it. Therefore, it's pointless doing this. Do you want to hear about Bradley and the old man, yes or no? And I'll tell you. Okay, let's go now. Okay, so before I, I met Bradley, um, Bradley did OnlyFans and... Uh, liar. liar! He's still saying liar. I don't know what is going on. I really don't understand. Like, I don't know why all these people were trying to reason with him because this is just pointless.
you know, it's like when, when he does a live stream, he talks about me and people go, fact freak, you need to get over there and speak to him. You can't bloody, you know, you can't put logic towards him. Liar. What? This is literally facts out there. The fella involved put them, the Liar. fella, in, the, no, but the fella involved put the messages out. So how is it lies when he put the evidence out? So now, now we know your chat shit because the evidence, Liar. somebody exposed Liar. Bradley at the time. Bradley Liar. was exposed all over TikTok. Liar. Wow. Okay, so basically, Bradley Bradley got twelve thousand pounds off one of his OnlyFans oh, members. Yeah. You know, like you, like 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 John oh, yeah. is gifting CLA. Um, he had an extreme fan like that on OnlyFans. So, well, that's the. Yeah, you're stating that uh, John is another elderly man that's been rinsed. No, no, no. You. Oh, good God, this is the problem. You see, when you entertain somebody like Flu, then it just his head must just be going. 100 miles a minute, you know what I mean? And coming out with absolute bollocks. And it was around this time I really think that Flu got a taste for clout. That juicy, juicy clout. Um, by harassing these larger creators. And he even started harassing Mama Kaz. Can you imagine? Can you imagine thinking it's acceptable for your child to be watching that video on these creators you put up on a pedal stool. What's the video? Mama Kaz and Alpha Bar talking graphically um, and instructing others and describing and demonstrating on how to have S on public and what to do. Wow. So these are the things that Princess Flu started saying about Mama Kaz on live streams. And it's all just to get more attention and more cloud, more attention. I don't, at this point, who knows what's going on in that potato. But while he was going around upsetting as many bigger creators as he could, there was some really good news as well. Yeah, for those of you who have missed it, I, I'm over the moon uh, to say that I successfully smashed his back doors in and we've conceived a child. Um, we did go for a scan today, as some of you guys know. And what do you know, he takes after his dad. Absolutely amazing. And then we, we just splashed the boat out. We bought one of those 3D scans to see what the baby's going to look like when it's born. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> what do you know? And of course, a lot of you that aren't new to the channel know that this isn't the first time the Princess Flu has claimed to be pregnant. Uh, and this time he was even lazy enough to use the same videos as he used last year. Um, but this one's a new one. I'll protect your children because you don't. Like, I'm actually pregnant and you're putting me through this. Like, excuse me, what? Like, baby burp. Like, you're... Like, how doesn't people just... Nobody surely can take this person seriously. You're putting me through this and I'm pregnant. Like, we're supposed to believe a grand man who says he's pregnant. Um, you're, you are correct, yeah. I am a man because I am tr transitioning from female, but I was born female and transitioning to male, so yeah. Oh, we'll just quickly disprove that. Now here we have a lovely collage of photos. And what's that? That would be a young Adam Page with his mum and Mickey Mouse. So, that's not quite true, is it? Once again. But anyway, let's get on to the baby scan photos. Now, of course, Princess Flu was showing off this picture, saying that that was their scan photo. However, if we put scan photo into Google, we can find that image fairly simply. Here it is right here. Obviously, Princess Flu has flipped it. Now you can see the mark going from where the mouth is in and obviously the shape of the feet as well. Not a very clever move, Potato. Now, of course, I think that's where I'm going to end today's deep dive into Princess Flu. This is my third look at Princess Flu and there's lots of links below of other videos for you guys to check out. He truly is an unwell individual with an obsession with pretty much anything and anyone in an entitled self way thinks he knows 
everything. He is better than everybody else. A dangerous combination, I think you would all agree. Don't forget as well, guys, to obviously hit that like button to help push this video out. You can share it on other forms of social media. And of course, tell me in the comment section, who's next for a deep dive? Peace.